Yeah, buddy. How's it going? How's it going? I've got a unboxing slash haul today from Coach. Uh, I did a video the other day. Uh, I didn't come out as well as I had hoped. Uh, lighting in my room is kind of terrible, but uh, in my house. So i uh trying one of the bedrooms, seeing how this works better. In the living room, it just, it just wasn't working. Um, I got a... Uh, Went to coach the other day and I bought some things. Um, I guess let's just go ahead and get to it. I got this uh, travel size bottle of cologne. Uh, they have a big sale on online uh, on their outlet page, and um, I believe actually I got this from Macy's. Honestly, I got these uh, the the bottle of cologne and. The second item, this is a small travel size, it's like half ounce. It was like 20 bucks, I think it was like seven, I think it was like 17 bucks for that. I also got some coach slides. Very cool. It's the coach with uh, Rexy. Rexy, the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Pulling the, pulling the little wagon, the coach wagon or whatever. Got some seeds on the bottom. They're definitely comfy. I definitely love these. I love slides. I got some coach ones, Adidas, Nikes. Uh, I'm debating on getting the monogram, tan and uh, brown monogram ones. To go with that sweater that I posted about not too long ago. So yeah, I got both of these from Macy's, and it was if you had seventy five, if you paid seventy five dollars, you got free shipping, and then you got an extra like fifteen percent off or something ridiculous. I don't remember what it was, but I think all of this this was all uh, seventy or sixty. It was seventy bucks, fifty for the flip flops. They're normally like a hundred something, and then the 17 or 18 for the cologne so i got some cologne some flip-flops and on the actual coat coach outlet they had 70 percent off everything and if you spent uh, i think it was like a hundred dollars or something 150 dollars then you got an extra 15 percent off so i picked up this uh tray a coach leather tray valet tray i believe that's what it's called it's pretty cool. You just snap together the corners, and now I got a little tray, so I can put my keys or I don't know. I got a knife right here. I'm about to do an unboxing, but basically whatever you want to, you know. When I go to sleep at night, honestly, I can even put my glasses in there. Holds my glasses, and my rings. Very cool. This was like a uh, forty-ish bucks. I like it. Nice. Well, pretty good for traveling as well. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have it on next to my nightstand, on my nightstand. But what's cool about this is uh, when, I, when you travel, um, I can put this in a bag or whatever, and it unfolds, and now it's flat. So you just put it, stack all your clothes on top of the bag, pull this thing out, and you snap it together. And now I have this little tray. So, you know, my hotel room key, my keys to my car or whatever, uh, my wallet. Um, you know what I'm saying? My, my jewelry, like I was just saying, maybe some change and some money from my pocket. It's just all in this little tray, you know, in my hotel room over there. I don't got to worry about, you know, where I put everything. It's all in that little tray. I need all my important essentials, or whatever you want to call it. And then I got this bag, which was a hundred and like $10 or something like that. I ended up getting it for 90 um, they had this at the actual outlet, but on the outlet page, on the web page, it was uh, like five dollars cheaper. And honestly, I was being a little cheap about it. I should have just bought this at the outlet while I was there. But um, it's got, I guess it's good that I did because I ended up saving five five bucks. Oh, I ended up getting a piece of chocolate on here from earlier. Anyways, but yeah, this is a a, a bike bag, terrain bike bag, and. Uh, grayish oatmealish color leather pretty cool um, 
It's got a little open flap. Um, it's got a little pouch. And then inside the pouch, it's got this zipper line. And then it's got two small vertical pockets. You can put stuff in there as well. Um, a front leather pouch pocket. And a large back zip pocket. So I travel a lot and I, I, uh, I go to a lot of concerts and stuff and I... I do a little bit of shooting, uh, video sh uh, shooting. I'm not anything like professional. Just uh, I know a lot of rappers, so I get to go hang out with them backstage and stuff. So I, I have GoPro. I have a, a pretty cool GoPro that I usually take whenever I'm doing my little uh, shoots. This is one of the new Hero 7s. I like the way concerts and stuff like that look in a uh, fisheye lens. So. But basically, I can keep that in here. Uh, every once in a while, you could pretty much got to have a knife or something on you. you keep your knife in there. Uh, I, I wear glasses. I used to wear contacts. I just don't really care for contacts like that anymore. So uh, I actually had some... Um, bought a pair of Ferragamo sunglasses for like 100-something bucks. And I went to Lens Crafters. The little owl. I got that in there. And I have my um, lenses swapped out. And they turn them into prescription sunglasses. These aren't as, definitely aren't as dark as they originally were. But I mean, you can see that they are uh, tinted. Got the little Ferragamo on the side. Uh, black frames with the uh, turtle, I guess that's what it's called, turtle shell or whatever, tortoise shell sides. But yeah, these are prescriptions, so I can see great with these right now. But... I have a couple different cars, so, you know, depending on which car I'm in, uh, like my Jedi, I can put these in my shades uh, pocket on the top, but then if I'm in my bends, then I can't. So, I like to carry them with me, but then I need something particular to carry that in, but it's kind of a, like a long story, so I figured I, I need a little travel pouch. Just like a little pouch that I could have on my front seat or my back seat with like whatever my essentials are, you know. I like to take pictures and stuff too, so if I'm driving, I might want to pull over and take a picture of some scenery and stuff, so you know, I could pull out my camera. Um, I have my sunglasses on, I don't, uh, I could swap them out and put my, my regular glasses in there once it's nighttime. And I also, uh, I'm gonna keep uh, my cashmere black uh, beanie. Um, so when I go to these concerts, obviously these rap concerts and stuff, or for the most part, any concert really, ends around like one in the morning and uh, I got to drive home or whatever. So at nighttime, once I'm driving, like in the daytime, I usually wear baseball caps, but at nighttime, I like to wear beanies. It's just, uh, you don't have that bill kind of, you know, doing that. You can get a little bit more uh, visibility with a beanie on. And plus, sometimes I like to drive my, with my window down. So sometimes at nighttime, it's slightly colder. So my ears are a little bit warmer. So, my, yeah, my backpack will have basically just essentials. I'll probably have a little bit of jewelry in there, a couple uh, things of jewelry, maybe like a, a bracelet or two, uh, a necklace or something. Definitely have, like, my sungla uh, prescription sunglasses. I'll have my uh, my, uh, my GoPro. Put this all in here. Tested it earlier. It all fits in there nice, you know. Uh, my beanie. My beanie will pretty much live in here. Put this Wu-Tang hat back on to go on my Wu-Tang shirt or my Wukanda shirt. But yeah, this is a dope bag. Nice little carry carry bag. I'll probably have uh, some chargers in the back. Probably put a phone charger or something like that in my back. Um, I'm probably going to have a my, I have an external GoPro charger with an extra battery. I'll probably have to put that in here. A couple little things like that. I don't got to worry about pulling over going in my trunk and pulling out one of my duffel bags or something like that and looking through for something that I might need. All right, so yeah, that was uh, that's what I bought the other day. Um, got my dope bag, uh, show you the tray, uh, my flip-flops, all black with the Rexy on them, a little baby bottle of cologne. That will also be in my bag. That way I can always, you know, smell good or whatever, depending on uh, if I smell like anything that's going on in the room that I'm in. And I got uh, 
big old box. Look at this big motherfucker. I got this box. So, like I just said, um, Coach had a sale. Uh, seventy percent off, seventy percent off everything with an extra fifteen percent off. You spent one fifty. Um, so I bought all this, and then I realized, like, fuck, you know, Mother's Day's in a goddamn week, and I still didn't get my mom anything. So um, I looked around online to try to find her a purse because I bought, I got my wife got a purse from Coach. Um, my dad got a wallet. My my wife bought my dad a wallet for uh for his birthday. So basically everybody in my family now is coach even my our dog she's somewhere out there she's even got a little coach collar we got a coach collar so uh, my mom had as a little wallet uh one of those long accordion style wallets so i figured i'd buy her an actual purse purse and uh the purse was only like a hundred bucks and um i think it was like 70 something the one that she liked i showed her a bunch of them and she really wasn't into a lot of them she just liked the the way this one looks and the style of it it's kind of like a satchel style She's older. She's uh, I think she's like sixty nine or seventy, but um, she is seventy. But yeah, so I ended up uh wanting to get her a purse. Then I realized that um, I can't even get the fifteen percent off on it because it's not even um a hundred dollars. Uh, it wasn't a hundred dollars, one hundred fifty dollars. So I ended up buying a the duffel uh, a duffel duffel like an actual duffel bag. I've always wanted a better duffel bag. I got an old, old Burberry bag that I got with a fragrance kit. So it's like, you know, it's like, it's not even that great a quality because it's a, they're perfume or fragrance bags, which everybody knows they give for free at Nordstrom's and Macy's and stuff like that. So I bought two bags. I bought a purse for my mom and I got me a duffel bag. Let's see. This is what I got from my mom. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to give it to her so she can open it herself. But it's uh, brown and black, it said. Not tan and brown or brown and uh, black and gray, but actually black C's on a brown uh, bag. It's got a, a hand uh, held thingy like above it and then it actually has a big uh strap that can go like cross body or whatever she likes it that way and then i think i believe you can take these uh these off the the one that goes uh, the big strap that goes around your chest i believe they can take them off i'm not entirely sure but this is basically big enough my mom can carry all her stuff in there and it's it's not very heavy either so hopefully she likes it uh but yeah like i said i'm not gonna open this and play with it that's uh that's gonna be her present. I'm gonna give it to her tonight. And then I got me the duff, the real duffel, a real coach duffel. Oh, let me take a little snapshot of that real quick. Bang! All right, sorry. Take a little picture. All right, let's bust this open. Let's bust it open. So when I was at the, this is the Voyager by the way, Voyager bag, men's Voyager bag. When I was at the outlet in Hilton Head, and then I went to one in uh, Pooler, Georgia as well. Um, uh, these wheels do not roll. All right. They had the the brown and black, the same colorway as the purse that I got from my mom. They had this same colorway, but they didn't have the black and gray. I have a lot of black and gray um, uh, coach items. I don't know. Some of y'all may not have seen this, but this is a custom um, Heath Keith Herring coach snapback that I did with Swarovskis. And then I also have a custom belt that's in another one of my videos. You should go check out all of my videos. Sorry, this wasn't actually in the plan to do this, but yeah, it's just a, you know, monogram, black, gray. But uh, I Swarovski'd the, the belt buckle. I left a coach in the New York there, but yeah, this shit looks very cool. 
and sunlight. And I have a couple other things like that in the black and gray. So I figured um, I wanted an actual bag bag, a real nice bag. They didn't have this color. So I ended up going online and I found this actual duffel bag for, I believe, $10 cheaper online than it was actually in, uh, in the store. So that's a good one for us. I just uh, I throw all this in here, right? That's what I'm doing. All right, we got. All right, let's sit back down. God damn it! I'm gonna bring the chair up too again. Okay, we got our strap here. Pull off all these. We got the other end of the buckle. Pull this off. Pull this off. Pull these guys off in the corners. Yeah, we'll buckle him, buckle him. Yeah, buddy. And then size it. Seems long. Is this getting longer? I don't know what the fuck's going on. I think it just got longer. Oh, maybe I should have left it the way it was then. Yeah, I'll just leave it the way it is. Alright. No, actually I can't. It's actually too long. But yeah, bringing it in does uh make it shorter. What am I doing? So yeah, bring it bring this guy in. Pull on this. Slightly shorter, not exactly. Bring it in more, I guess. Right there. That's a little bit better. Now, you, when I'm traveling, like, and I actually need, I can carry this on a plane. This is a decent size duffel bag. I believe it's probably the same size as my, uh, my other one, my my uh, my Burberry bag. It's about the same size. I carry just as much stuff. Pretty much all my clothes will, can go in this bag as long as I'm going on a two or three day trip. A little plastic here, plastic tab. Got these little uh, tabs on the leather zip pulls. Uh, we got a little coach tag on here, a brown one. So this has the ox blood. It's black on gray with ox blood. I'll show you what that is. I believe this is ox blood. This uh, this tab here is ox blood. Nice. Yeah, you can see the uh, ox blood stitching on the handles as well. Ooh, this is pretty. Yeah, they did not have this at the at the outlet, so I'm definitely happy I picked it up. And there's something inside here too. What are these? Ooh. Oh, so you can uh, connect these. So this is so that you can, um, I guess, make it like. More duffel-y looking. That's cool. Oh, a bunch of stuffing. Let's get rid of all this stupid stuffing. Ooh, that's a lot of stuffing. A couple of these little salt baggy thingies. Ooh, I like that. Get rid of this guy on the side here. And then this does the same thing. You uh, 
fold this down a little, it'll fold. And then you click this button here. Yeah, that's cool. It's a little bit harder to dump it. Probably could probably have to carry it on the other the other side. Okay, so I guess I guess when you wear it like when you have it like this, it's better to carry it like this. So now it looks like a duffel bag like this. But if you unclip these, then you can use a strap slightly better. That's what it seems like. Very nice bag. Originally it said five hundred and ninety-eight dollars. Can you see that inside? Oh, fucking terrible lighting in here too. God damn it. I don't know if you can see this, but this is ox blood. It's, you can't see it. This motherfucker. I, I gotta get some LEDs in this goddamn house. I swear to God. Uh, everything I'm trying to do is not working. Unless I can do these fucking videos in my shop. Which is LED'd out. Let me try doing this. There you go, here. That's not black. It's called ox blood. It's like a dark, dark, dark. It's not even brown. It's it's like a burgundy, a dark burgundy. Even has some, a little bit right here, some stitching. Still can't get it because this fucking light sucks. And I'm literally sitting in front of a window with the window open. But apparently no light is coming in because the sun is like on that side of the house right now. But yeah, this is a cool, cool bag. I'm pretty happy about that. I almost didn't buy it. I didn't want to buy it. I was just going to buy my mom's purse for her and then just cut it. But um, I ended up getting that duffel bag. I, def I definitely need a new duffel bag. Whenever I was traveling, literally my... I, <laughs> the bag I had before, my 11-year-old, 10-ish, at least year old uh, Burberry, Burberry bag was the bag that my parents moved to America with in 1981. And I... I, well, until a few years ago, I still used it. I mean, I still use, literally used it until like maybe five years ago. It's a pretty big bag. But uh, yeah, I probably will never do that again. I'll probably literally only be using this guy right here now. But uh, yeah, that's, a, that's my coach haul unboxing. Uh, six items. Um, I also will be doing a video in a couple seconds on some Monet that I got. And... Guys are kind of assholes. I'll give you a little insight on on why they're assholes in the next video. But um, uh, clean that up later. What am I doing right now? Yeah. Until next time. Uh, well, until the next video. Uh, deuces.